Welcome back everyone to Short Splats. I'm Jared. Today we are covering a movie curse. What movie is it this week? It is Poltergeist 1982. It is something I covered on the website a couple years back, but I want to bring it to the Short Splats because I think these really fit. And it's pretty cool hearing about movie curses. And there's more than one movie curse. There's a list. So we're going to cover them on this segment of Short Splats. Movie curses. First, we gotta get to Jimmy J and see what's popping. Friday the 13th weekend, May 13th and 14th, it is all going down right here on the grounds of the Blairstown Diner. Laura Marie Taylor, Ron Milky, Ron Sloan, Debbie Voorhees, Tracy Savage. I mean, we have a lineup of guests coming out for the weekend. And not only are we celebrating Friday the 13th, but we are celebrating 13 Fanboy. And with that being said, we have the lead actress, Haley Greenbauer herself, making her way to Blairstown. This is history in the making, folks. Get your tickets now. F13 Minicon. That eventbrite.com. That is F13 Minicon. That eventbrite.com. Jason, Jason's here early. Folks, like I said, it's going to be a killer weekend in Blairstown going down at the iconic Blairstown Diner. Be a part of the history in the making. We'll see you there. All right, Jimmy J, also Brian, Hard at 85, we have the Friday the 13th Minicon, going to be a good time. Now, we have some haunts coming open, I know we're a couple months away, May 13th and 14th, Field the Screams, buy one get one, let's go to the video. Fieldofscreams.com. Get your tickets now. It's going to be an epic time. We will be at Brighton Asylum those nights. And maybe the Friday the 13th Minicon. We're going to see how it plays out. we got a lot of stuff planned. A lot of stuff coming down. Um, we have our first date open on the Haunt calendar. Working on that. But let's get into this. Today, we are talking about the Poltergeist Curse. New segment I want to start, movie curses. There's a lot of movies with them. Some are kind of cheesy. Some are hmm, questionable. This one, I'll let you decide. Now, I did do this on the website a few years ago, but let's start now. Everyone remembers the classic Steven Spielberg movie, Poltergeist. It was always one of my favorites, from the great special effects to its infamous, They're here tagline one of the best movies hands down about supernatural events then the schoolyard rumors started it was said that steven spielberg used actual skeletons for the movie and it caused a curse that wiped out the entire cast how i'm, I'm watching coach on usa how'd he die then it came out that all the kids the mother and the two psychic died which ended up not true at all either there were, in fact, four deaths following the release of the series. Two were actually not surprising, as the man who played Reverend Henry Kane, Julian Beck, passed away after his battle with cancer. 
I mean, you could tell he was sick in the movie. It kind of helped to add to his scariness. And man, was he a hell of a character. Moving on, the man who played Taylor, Wilson, Will, sorry, Will Sampson, also passed away. But he died after a having a lung replaced and was actually told by the doctors that it was 50-50 if he would live a long life after the surgery. So, I mean, kind of natural causes, but then you get a little deeper and a little sadder. We're going to talk about Carol Ann. Carol Ann is a name that goes to horror like Nancy Thompson or Laurie Strode. It really does. I mean, it just fits. Uh, Carol Ann was played by the young actress Heather O'Rourke. As you can see by her great acting skills. She was a hell of an actor for her age. But she died shortly before the release of Poltergeist 3. She died at the age of 12. Heather was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and then later died from complications of septic shock. I believe the girl's age and what had happened is kind of what started the curse. So... There was another one, which is a little more sad. Carol Ann was not the only child actor who died from the Poltergeist series. Dana, Dominique Dunn, also passed away. She was murdered by her ex-boyfriend on October 30th, 1982. After a terrible fight, her ex grabbed Dominique by the throat until she collapsed to the ground. Dominique fell into a coma and passed away four days later. Very sad. I could see the spark. But these are all things that happen. I mean, it's n nothing that you couldn't explain. Yes, a 12-year-old from toxic, so from septic shock. E but I mean, murders happen. Kids get murdered all the time. As sad as it is, it's terrible. I have scoured the internet to see if what I'm about to say is true. The reason... For the curse idea is that it is said that they used real skeletons, especially this scene in the pool, which was fantastic. One of the coolest horror scenes ever. Real skeletons instead of props. Now, I know how much a fake skeleton cost. Maybe other skeletons were cheaper back in the 80s. I, I don't know. Maybe things are different. But a curse, maybe. This was taken from an article on ScreenRant.com and others while looking for the fact that they did use real skeletons. This sequence is one of the most unsettling in the film, and it turns out that unbeknownst to Williams, the skeletons used were taken from actual human beings. According to crew members, Poltergeist purchased these skeletons from a medical supply company, as doing so apparently costs much less than creating fake skeletons or purchasing pre-made skeleton replicas. This is the kind of thing that Hollywood used to do sometimes that would f never fly today. As one can only imagine the online hysteria if a current movie was found to be using real human corpses to spice up their horror film. Interestingly, the use of real skeleton is often cited by proponents of the so-called poltergeist curse, which alleges that those involved with the franchise ended up marked by dark forces. I don't know, Craig T. Nelson had a hell of a career. The mom's still acting. I was just watching her on Dexter. What was that, just 10 years ago? So, I mean, this one I'm calling hoax. I'm not seeing a curse here. Everything lines up factual. I'm not seeing anything weird. I wasn't on set, so I can't say that anything crazy happened on set. We do have movies that weird shit has happened on sets, and we'll get to those in the upcoming weeks with some short splats. Well, leave a like, subscribe, check out my new, uh, my new VHS set. Found a price I couldn't refuse. And like the Godfather, I picked that shit up. Well, that's all I got for you today on Short Spots. I'm Jared, and I'm out.